Unfortunately, Pakistan sanitation conditions are like this that we do get infected at least three to four times every year. So if we misuse or abuse antibiotics, so the bacteria will get resistant. So we have to use other drugs which are more expensive. Looking into statistics, um, this is the third largest cause of mortality in Pakistan and the world which basically means that after cardiovascular disease and after maternal and child mortality, it is the lack of antibiotics that can treat the right bacteria is what is killing patients and that is killing people. What's the worst? The worst stays is that if you don't work on this, if you don't give awareness on this, then there's going to be more and more of antimicrobial resistance. Do we have drugs to deal with multi-drug resistant bugs? We don't. So what do we do? We work on guidelines, we work on awareness, we realize the responsibility of not just the industry but of a common man as well. To combat this growing threat, Gets Pharma, in collaboration with key stakeholders, hosted the first National Antimicrobial Stewardship Summit. The summit featured an abstract exhibition with educational sessions and engaged over 1,400 participants from across Pakistan and a virtual audience from 23 countries. Uh, the biggest research that went into that program was identifying the unmet need that we have. There are not many platforms that talk so openly about the AMR issue. If we talk about its awareness in general public, this is the right time to do that before uh, this actually becomes the largest killer uh, within Pakistan and similar LMIC countries. There are, I think, around 13 societies in Pakistan, medical societies. So all of those people who are somehow associated with treating of infections, with treatment of infections, they are all there. And we all sign, with, we sign with them a memorandum of understanding, which says that in every conference, these societies that will have, there will be a preset agenda on antimicrobial stewardship. There are going to be guidelines that we are right now engaged with these societies which we are formulating and those guidelines are going to be rolled out in all the meetings, the annual meetings, the midsummer meetings of these 13 odd societies, which by the way represent a total of 60% of doctors in Pakistan. So this is a responsibility that has to be realized by everybody. Who takes the lead in making sure this multi-stakeholder involvement happens? Who takes the lead in in dissemination of the right information to the common man, to the healthcare providers, who takes the lead in establishing guidelines and working with regulators and policy makers and convincing them to come up with policies that encourage uh, awareness of disease and so on and so forth. Gets Pharma, leading the fight against antimicrobial resistance, setting new standards in public health because we care for your health.